iridescent hexagon mix in pink from Charlie's Nail Art. Okay, so .co.uk and use my code TAMMYR10 for 10% off your order. Okay, so some of Charlie's glitters out on the tray ready that I've seen all over the place. So that's what I've never tried to do it like that. Let's see. All right. So hopefully you can see. And y'all, I've never drawn a flamingo before either. So much less, and I've never done the, um, the neon, uh, you know, like the neon sign kind of thing. So this is a first for everybody that watches me. Alright, so, so far I have the head and I'm guessing the neck. And I'm just doing this from the top of my head, what I remember um, you know, seeing on Tino's channel, okay, so, I'm just gonna let you watch, and I'm gonna try to do the body, <laughs> hopefully you can see. Maybe that needs to be. Hold on. And start over. Okay? Alright. I think I'm going to put his head a little bit more. And I'm doing it kind of sideways so that you guys can see. Um, but I've got to like look around sideways underneath my camera so I don't get my fat head in your picture. So I'm going to move this head over this way a little bit. Oops. Sorry if I'm hitting the, the phone, you guys. Alright, so. So far, that's what we're looking like. Hopefully. I'm just trying to go back and make sure these edges are even. Okay. We're just going to color this part in. For the time being, we'll come back and do our details in a minute. And never be afraid to cure as you go along either. Um, you know, if you're afraid, like me, I hit things all the time and mess them up. So I do a lot of flash curing and things like that. Alright, so, so far, what is my hand? There we go. So far, I know it looks like a swan, doesn't it? We'll keep working. Alright, so, so far, this is what we have. Okay. Uh, hmm. Let's finish the leg area. And then I'll pop her in. Fur. And this is going to be... Where's my nail? This is going to be... Her head. We'll just say she's a girl, shall we? She is pink after all, you know. Alright, so. Let's make that a little bit rounder. And we got to account for the beak. Okay. So, as you can see, there she is. I'm going to pop this in the lamp. 
and cure it. Hey y'all, I forgot to do the legs. Duh. Okay, so let's try this. Only had it in there for two or three seconds, but we'll see. Alright, so we're going to make one leg go down this way. That's going to be her straight leg, I guess. We'll see. This is why we have cleanup brushes. Because now her leg is too fat. Hold on. Alright. So we're just going to clean that up just a little bit. There we go. Done and done. And I keep hitting the button. I am so sorry. Okay. <laughs> I don't have any Dramamine to give everybody because I made you seasick. Um, I wish I did, but I don't. I'm so sorry. Um, while, um, and then I'm going to take this. Let me look at it real quick. Mm. All right, so then we're going to take the second leg. I might have should have put that. I don't know. We'll see. Like I said, this is the first for me. All right, so their second leg, they usually stand on one leg. We're just going to make like a four. All right, so now we're going to put her in the light, okay? And while she is curing, now is going to be my time to tell you that if you're new here, welcome, welcome. And please hit that subscribe button while you're here watching. We'd love to have you as a member of the Bomb Squad. And if you're already um, subscribed, thank you so much for coming back today and watching this video. Please remember to comment and share my videos as well and give this video a thumbs up and turn your notifications on so you know every time i upload a video all right i'd appreciate that so very much okay so now that that's cured i'm gonna go into our white just the plain white right this moment okay and then we're just going to like I don't know how to explain it um you know just um put a, a a white line so to speak around her or through her through the pink This is what we're going to be working with that will give her the glow. Well, that looks like crap. So this is why we flashed here. <laughs> Alright, let's try that again. Alright, so maybe... If I turn it this way, I'm trying to stay in frame, y'all. And I'm using uh, Bomb Nails 15 mil brush, millimeter brush. All right, so. I need to do this off camera. <laughs> Try it 
Try and try. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Alright, let's try this again. Let's put her in frame here. That doesn't look right either. Alright, let's just start at this point. Let's see if I can get this right. Alright, right now, like I said, we're just using the straight uh, white. Excuse my stomach gurgling, y'all. Okay, now that I've got that cleaned up a little bit, just keep doing your, your outline, sort of. Hopefully you can still see. Alright, so so far that's what she's looking like. Let me do her legs and her head and her beak. Okay, let me just tell you something real quick. Um, when you do the leg, now remember to break the line. You know, don't go over top of this. Unless you want one leg to look like it's in front of the other. Okay, unless you want to do it opposite and have the bent leg behind and the straight leg in front. Okay. Um, but keep that in mind, just depending on how you want it. Okay, so here we are. I just secured the, the white in the light. And then I went back and I mixed some of my top coat with just, I mean, what white was left on my brush. So you can see it right there. Um, and then I went back over the white lines again and made that part, you know, thicker. Okay, so that, um, that's your glow, in other words. Okay, so, um, I'm going to put this in the light and I'll be right back. Okay, so now that that's out of the light, I'm going to go back into my, whoops, into, dang, damn it. I'm trying not to swear, you guys. Um, I'm going to go back in with my pink, okay, still the jelly color. And we're going to go back over this again. Okay, now this is not supposed to look like an actual live flamingo. So, um.
see, so when you go, hopefully you can see. So when you go back over that, that's the effect you're going to get. Okay? And that's exactly what we want. Sorry, I was out of frame again. You know, and I'm thinking, I may try it on the other nail just for shits and giggles. Um, I'm thinking that you could probably use a very thin coat of blooming gel. And that would make the pink spread more. Um, you know, and disperse it more so you get more of that, um, glowing look is what I mean. Let's see how cool is that? And I think I did it backwards, actually. But that's okay. Like I said, I've never done it before. We'll just have an extra step in there. I'm just going to keep going over this till I get it, her all covered, and I'll be back. Okay, so now that she's out of the light, this is what she's looking like. I think she looks pretty good. Um, I think I shouldn't have, I don't know. I'm not sure, but anyway, it's not bad for a first go. Everybody has to start somewhere. Um, okay, so now we're going to get to... Uh, Charlie's Glitter, okay, the Pink Hexi Mix, and I'm going to show you um, what we're going to do. So, I'm just going to take, and I'm sorry, I keep hitting the camera, y'all. Just going to take, and take a little bit of top coat, just a little bit, okay, don't have to go bananas, and I'm going to put it right here in her body you just want enough to, to hold the glitter down okay and then I'm gonna take I don't know if I should do that or not um and we're just gonna well we're gonna try that I don't know if it'll work or not um Let's try this and see. That's why I wiped off the tacky layer. Okay. Because I only want this to stick to a certain part. And we're going to build it up and make her a 3D body. Or we're going to attempt to. Get my finger out the way. Okay. Tap off the extra if there is any. The extra sides in case there's any sticking out or any anywhere that you don't want. Okay, I'm gonna pop her in the light. Okay, so now that she's out of the light, I'm gonna take my top coat again. Or if you wanna um you know have a uh if you have a thicker, like a clear, uh, thicker viscosity, even a rubber base coat would work. I don't know why I didn't think of that before. But we're going to top coat over that. Okay. And then we're going to sprinkle it again. Because I want this to be a little raised. Okay. So there we are. And yes, I did brush it off. Okay, so that's what she's looking like. And I'll cure her and I'll brush her off and I'll be right back. Now we're just going to top coat the whole thing. And you can do more layers if, if you want. Um, I just did two. Just to make her, her body and her wing, whatever, stand out a little bit. 
So I'm just going to float the top coat over this part. Um, and I did brush it off again. Because you don't want um, any rogue glitters getting in your top coat. Unless you do. What I mean, but I'm not fortunate enough to be able to separate my my top coats um, for glitter and for, you know, that type of thing. So, I just have to be careful. Else all my clients would end up with glitter whether they wanted it or not. Which wouldn't bother me a bit, but might bother some of them. Alright, so that's what she's looking like. I'm going to go and cure her. Y'all, so I'm going to um, do the other nail off camera, and I'll be back to show you the finished look. Okay, y'all, this is the finished set. Don't forget to um, like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on your notifications. Please subscribe, subscribe, and share this video. If you like my content, it would help me out so much. When we get to 300, I'm going to have a major giveaway. So let's, you know, pass this along so everybody can see my content. Okay? Um, I did a palm tree on the uh, ring finger. And I did try the blooming gel. It worked wonderfully. So, um, you know, just on the first layer of the pink. Um, and then I put Charlie's uh, Pink Hexi Mix on the palm fronds as well. So don't forget to go check Charlie's website out. It is www.charlie's nail, nail art. God, I'm sorry, Charlie. Um, and it's .co.uk. Okay, and use my code TAMMYR10 for 10% off your order. You'll find lots of wonderful things there um she has everything that you could possibly want or need um i love her website so go check her out um and give these a try if you give these a try please tag me um and i would love to see your work okay so until next time please stay safe and stay well and thanks for joining me